Hey guys, welcome to Great Learning. Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency that is a fantastic application of the domain blockchain. It is one of these technologies that has established new ways of working with ledgers and data handling. Now, blockchain became very popular with the rise in cryptocurrency popularity and it has held its ground ever since. With Bitcoin, I'm sure you're aware of how disruptive this technology really is, right? If you have ever heard of legitimate stories where people invested hundreds of dollars and got millions back in return, you might be curious to know more about Bitcoin. It surely is a very complex domain, but with this video, I aim to simplify this down so that all of you all watching this video can understand Bitcoin in around 10 minutes. Well, are you guys excited? Let's get started. Before we get started, I want to introduce you to Great Learning Academy. This is a free initiative by Great Learning where you can have access to over 200 plus courses with 1000 plus hours of free content on all of the trending high demand domains, absolutely free. Register now to complete the course and get your free certificate of completion as well. Check out the link in the description box of the video below for more details. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. This is done to make sure you do not miss out on any of the new updates or video releases from Great Learning. And of course, guys, if you enjoy this video, show us some love and do like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing, right? So make sure you share this video with your friends, colleague and everyone who can make use of it. And at the end of it, make sure to comment on the video if you have any queries or any suggestions and I'll be more than happy to respond to all of your comments. So coming to the answer of the first question, what is Bitcoin? Well, Bitcoin is basically an electronic currency, which is very, very different from all the other government issued currencies that we have in the world today, right? Be it Indian rupees, American dollars and all of that. Now, right now, uh, you might be thinking about saying, hey, why do we even require a currency which is not controlled by the government, right? Now, I just mentioned that it's very different. In a way, right now, uh, every penny that anyone ever spends, it has to go through a bank or it has to go through a third party wherein everyone in the middle takes a cut, right? So there is a constant middleman no matter what's going on with your money. And of course, if there's middlemen everywhere, you expect them to do their jobs. So trust becomes really a big part of what makes Bitcoin what it is, right? So before the world of Bitcoin, what exactly used to happen was that there was direct currency transfer, right? Now, before the world of United Payments, uh, before the world of online payments came in, I'm sure you guys uh, can also check into this, right? You had to walk into a bank, deposit money, withdraw money manually, and you had to physically hand over cash. I mean, that's how most of us still do it. But I don't know, in a world of online payments, that is a little different. But know this, online payments, you know, swiping your credit card, sending someone money over the UPI does not mean that you're using Bitcoin. Those are all still government regulated currencies while Bitcoin uh, is not. With the help of Bitcoin, we're trying to solve this exact problem where we're trying to remove any sort of governing body about how, uh, you know, the finances move around, right? So how is this done? Well, it is done in a very simple concept called as peer-to-peer -peer networking. So instead of the bank having to regulate money uh, from multiple sources and you know having giving it to a lot of other people out there what we're trying to do with bitcoin is that we're trying to have uh, you know all the data of everyone's balance with again everyone else right so basically instead of having a bank at one uh, you know the center of the city or something like that there is going to be a bank at every single person's house whoever has invested into that coin right now even though it sounds very complex saying that you'll have a bank at your place none of this is physical again all of this is basically a network of computers that are connected together right now you might ask a question saying okay so how does bitcoin work now, in this particular uh, uh, thing, you really have to understand that Bitcoin was a concept that was invented, right? So this person called as Satoshi Nakamoto uh, as a Japanese inventor who actually wrote a paper on how we can, uh, you know, put uh, the working of a cryptocurrency together. And of course, he posted it on one of the really popular uh, cryptography blogs out there way back in the day. So uh, he said that instead of us actually going to record every transaction in a single ledger, just like how all the banks in the entire world and every government regulated currency right now, now uh, does it in that way, 
he said let us have every single user and give him or her access to all the data that's present all the transactions that are being done this way what's the hugest advantage to happen this way there is absolutely no uh, you know possibility of being cheated at all right it is literally impossible to cheat if every transaction is recorded in each and every one of the computers that are present now that answers one aspect of the question but if you're taking the other uh, look at what's happening with bitcoin and it's working you really have to realize that uh, you know computers all around the world are literally connected together by the internet today right so here there is again an interconnected network a peer to peer network as i told you where all of these computers that are connected uh, basically solve mathematical operations right so they they solve mathematical equations and they actually have a concept called as hashing algorithm and they use uh, these kind of algorithms to make sure that the authenticity of the person sending and receiving information is correct and they build up a chain and this chain is what gives uh, uh, you know the name of this particular cryptocurrency and of course this uh, concept itself it's basically blockchain and bitcoin is an application of blockchain right so the chain literally is copied on to all of the computers that are present in the network and when you think about it back then there were a lot less people involved in bitcoin but then today there are hundreds of thousands of people involved in the same right so coming to a question you know very popular one which says what is bitcoin mining even right because it's a term that get that gets thrown around pretty uh, pretty much out there so let's let's talk about miners for a second who are these miners right so miners are basically people who are trying to earn bitcoin by solving really complex mathematical challenges on their computers on their laptops and what not so basically to solve these challenges you really have to use the complete computation power of your machine and this takes up a lot of electricity right this is very much required this way of you solving a miner solving a mathematical equation is very much important because this is exactly what is required to verify all the transactions that happen on the bitcoin ledger now since we're talking about transactions what is the most important thing here one thing about bitcoin you really have to know is that all of these things all of the transactions on everyone's machine in the entire network must be verified right so miners are the people who are making a ton of money out here they get paid twice right once because they're mining for the actual coin by solving the math operations second they're verifying the transactions also so this uh, you know ramps up really quick and that's the reason you see a lot of people mining a lot of bitcoin it's worth a lot and of course you know uh, what it can do to disrupt the market right on that note let's quickly take a look at the pricing that we have for bitcoin today great now with this i am sure you're curious about what a bitcoin is worth is it even legal in your country and all of that right so let me quickly uh, talk to you about the rate of bitcoin right what one bitcoin btc costed in the year november 2015 In November 2015, uh, one Bitcoin was somewhere around 20,000 Indian rupees or somewhere around 270,000 USD, right? Dollars. In 2016, that literally doubled to 52,000 Indian and 700 uh, United States, right? 700 dollars. After that, in 2017, Bitcoin shot up to seven lakhs for every single Bitcoin in India, and somewhere around nine thousand five hundred of the dollars in the US. Right in 2018, it 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 slightly fell down again to four point six lakhs, uh, you know, per coin, and in the US again sixty two hundred dollars. In November 2018, it was six lakhs per annum in India, and eight thousand one hundred dollars in the US. All right, 2019 done. 15 to 19, we've checked everything out. In the present day scenario, what is the worth of a Bitcoin? Right, it is a staggering 43.15 lakh. One BTC today in Indian currency is worth 43.15 lakh. And of course, if you're talking about it in dollars, it costs somewhere around 58,100 dollars, ladies and gentlemen. That is how much uh, one Bitcoin is worth right now. However, you can mine and you can work with a uh, Bitcoin, but there is a regulatory that's coming up uh, uh, you know there's a lot lot of things in the news which says that bitcoin uh, beat mining beat trading or beat using can get banned in india so regardless of where you guys are before starting out on your journey about learning about bitcoin maybe to make more money or you know invest into it invest into the technology itself make sure you check your local governing body before you actually jump right in all right perfect the next question i always get asked is this 
is it having an impact on our, on our lives? Is Bitcoin having a good enough impact, right? The answer to this is a straight yes. You can buy a lot of goods with it online, you know, be it e-commerce sites, be it shopping sites, you literally can go on there, check out with your Bitcoin wallet. Of course, not all the major suppliers uh, accept Bitcoin, but there are people who do it. And guess what? If you guys are, uh, you know, watching this video from London or anywhere in the United Kingdom, a lot of pubs basically, uh, you know, even accept your Bitcoin uh, in exchange for their drinks as well. So you can have a drink, pay via Bitcoin and you're good to go. And lastly, you can also pay your entire tuition fees or college fees, uh, you know, with, with, with respect to some universities who accept Bitcoin. How fantastic is this, right? E-commerce, paying for your drinks, paying for your college fee, three really big things that a lot of us uh, eventually do. And yes, you know, everywhere Bitcoin is growing on there. Right now, the last question I usually get asked whenever whenever the discussion is about Bitcoin is, is everyone on board with Bitcoin? Is the entire world, all the governments, are they on board? First thing is that the governments are not really on board because you're completely removing their control of how uh, your currency will move ahead, right? And of course, uh, come going into the future, some of the people will definitely think that, hey, in fact, Bitcoin is the future of currencies while there is a good amount of audience that thinks that it will rapidly hurt the economy, right? But we already know know this, if there's any technology in the past that has been rapidly getting things done without the involvement of middlemen, that uh, definitely is better than having multiple middlemen knowing that, uh, you know, you, you can get cheated, your data can, can get changed. There are so many factors out there, right? But yes, removing the middlemen, knowing that things can be done better is definitely the way to go. So to conclude this quick video, I think the most important thing that you guys have to understand right now is that the entire nature, right? The disruptive nature of Bitcoin is exactly helping it make its mark in today's world. And of course, when you're thinking about transactions, as I just told you, there is no way to get better than Bitcoin in terms of how the world not only sees cryptocurrencies, but how the world also embraces cryptocurrencies, right? So that is a really important thing that you guys should know about Bitcoin. I want to introduce you to Great Learning Academy. This is a free initiative by Great Learning where you can have access to over 200 plus courses with 1000 plus hours of free content on all of the trending high demand domains absolutely free. Register now to complete the course and get your free certificate of completion as well. Check out the link in the description box of the video below for more details. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. This is done to make sure you do not miss out on any of the new updates or video releases from Great Learning. And of course, guys, if you enjoy this video, show us some love and do like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing, right? So make sure you share this video with your friends, colleague and everyone who can make use of it. And at the end of it, make sure to comment on the video if you have any queries or any suggestions and I'll be more than happy to respond to all of your comments.